Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to the examples on classification of cross section. Okay, so already we know this is the very important change made in this new IS because we must know the capacity, buckling capacity of the section before using it. Okay, because we know the steel sections are buckle easily when it is subjected to compression as well as bending. Okay, so we are here in this lecture I am going to focus on examples on classification of cross sections. Okay, very simple examples ask. Generally it is asked for two marks, one cross section asked for two marks. So you can easily solve for roll die section, channel section, angle sections. Right, so we are finding class of the section. Fine, so the first example I am going to consider here that is we are going to find out class of ISLB 300 at 37.7 kg per meter. ISLB 300 Indian standard lightweight beam section of 300 mm depth at 37.7 kg per meter. Okay, so we are going to find out its class now. Okay, so very first of all, we need the properties from steel table. So use steel table and write down the properties which are required. Okay, so which properties we required to find out the uh, <coughs> class of the section? For flanges, we required width of the section and thickness of the flange, uh, width of flange and thickness of flange. Same thing we required for web also because we know the class of the section is totally depends on width to thickness ratio. Right? And based on that we categorize into plastic, semi-compact, plastic, compact, semi-compact and slender class. Okay? So let us write down the properties from steel table or you can refer IS handbook also 808 okay so i'm using steel table of ramamurtham so use it islb 300 of 37.7 kg per meter its width of flange is 150 mm so i'm writing dimensions here 150 mm width of flange thickness of flange also we required 9.4 mm okay then Thickness of web is also required. So thickness of web ISLB 300 6.7 mm and then width of see the depth of clear depth of web actually we calculate by using there are two approach to find out clear depth of web one directly you can use h1 value from the steel table h1 con from connection details it is the clear width of clear depth of web so h1 directly is with us and it is available in steel table it is 3 245.1 yes 245.1 mm or you can use radius of uh, radius at root to find out uh, the clear depth of web the difference in between two values are very negligible so you can use h1 or you can go with the second approach so i'm going to solve the example by using both approach so that you will understand this only in first example okay so r1 radius at root is 15 mm okay so these are the dimensions which are uh, these are the properties which are required for the classification of section so now if you observe the i section Okay, so flanges and this is a web. Okay, now this is thickness of flange and this is width of flange. This is thickness of web and clear depth of web we need actually. That is we say D, small d, as per steel, as per IS. Okay, and <coughs> If you go with the table 2 of IS, so this is using steel table, we get the properties. So from IS, Indian standard 800-2007, we can refer table number 2 and figure number 2. So using table 2 and figure 2, we can easily find out the exact class of the section. So if you refer figure Two and table 2 of IS so there we understand exactly the first row 
outstanding element of compression flange okay so go with the table page number 18 of is table 2 width to thickness ratio limiting width to thickness ratio outstanding element of compression flange for rolled section b by tf okay remember what i am reading outstanding element of compression flange so here this is generally compression flange top we assume okay <clears throat> because loading is downward so many times top uh, above the neutral axis compression develop below the neutral axis tension develop so outstanding element of compression flange any one flange you can consider Ro for rolled section yes we are finding class of rolled section so the formula is b by tf where b is what for that we need to see the figure